Cyborg, a.k.a. Victor Stone, is a college athlete, and a tragic accident befalls him, you know, by no fault of his own. Um, and his father, in order to save his life, uh, he uses cybernetics, advanced cybernetics, to replace his lost limbs and essentially save his son's life. Um, the technology that he uses in this film is apocalyptic tech. You know, it's nothing that this world has ever seen. So it imbues him with super strength, super durability. He can fly. He can interface with anything technological. He can, uh, he can patch into your cell phone. He can know your whole history. He, he has worlds of information at his disposal. Uh, not just from our galaxy, from other galaxies and universes, which is pretty cool. The cast is probably the funniest group of people you could probably get together in one room. I think everybody brings something very unique to the group and just watching all the different personalities come together. It kind of feels like what the actual Justice League would feel like. It's hard for me to imagine it any other way now. The props, I pick up and touch anything that's not nailed down. I'm picking up all the batarangs, all the, all the devices that he has. Anything that's not nailed to the floor, I'm always touching it, picking it up, seeing what the deal is because everything is so detailed. Even in Star Labs, all the paperwork that you see sitting on the desks, somebody's gone through and written very specific things on those papers. It's crazy the amount of detail that they put into these things. Cyborg's role is access for the Justice League. He allows them, uh, he allows them information, he, allow, he allots them information that they couldn't possibly know on their own. Uh, he's also able to repair technology, you know, essentially, essentially with a thought. He's able to manipulate this technology and force it to repair it, self-repair. He's able to uh, solve the most complex problems that they couldn't solve on their own. You know, we're dealing with a lot of really smart people in the Justice League, but I think Cyborg's uh, cyborgs, cybernetics give him an advantage in that way. He's recently become cyborg. He's been cyborg for maybe maybe a year, maybe less, and uh, you know he's lost everything that he's held dear. He's lost his body. He's lost his mother. You know he, he's had unbearable hardships just compiled on top. You know he's left him. He's been in solitude for the last year and a half. So when Wonder Woman asks Cyborg to join them, he doesn't want to. You know, he's turned his back on the world because the world, he feels, has turned its back on him.